Hello everyone. In the previous sessions, we have learned about the different cortical areas concerned with language perception and production. Today, we see about Wernick-Geschwind model of language perception and production. This model describes the transmission of neural signals between different cortical areas when a person is speaking or reading. Wernick Geschwind model suggests that there are seven components or seven cortical areas which are involved in language perception and production. They are the primary auditory cortex, Wernick's area, arcuate fasciculus, Broca's area, motor cortex, primary visual cortex, and angular gyrus. All these components of language perception and production are located in the left cerebral hemisphere. According to Wernick Geschwind model, in a conversation, the auditory signals triggered by the speech of a person are received by the primary auditory cortex of the other person. The primary auditory cortex analyzes the sound and sends the signals to the Wernick's area. Wernick's area is the cortical area of language comprehension. Wernick's area determines the words that were said by the other person. The neural representation of the thought underlying the reply is then transmitted from the Wernick's area to the Broca's area through arcuate fasciculus. Arcuate fasciculus is a white matter tract or a bridge that connects the Wernick's area with the Broca's area. Broca's area then articulates the speech and a reply is formulated with grammatical perfection. This neural signal for speech production is then sent to the primary motor cortex and primary motor cortex then sent the signals to the muscles of face, jaw, tongue and larynx and the reply is coming from the person as voice. This is what happens during conversation. When a person is reading aloud, the person is looking at the reading material and he is moving his eyes through the lines he is reading. This image is received and analyzed by the primary visual cortex. This signal is then transmitted from the primary visual cortex to the left angular gyrus. The left angular gyrus then decodes and translates the visual form of the word into its auditory cord. The auditory cord is then transmitted to the Wernick's area for language comprehension. Wernick's area understands the word and sends the information to the Broca's area through left arcuate fasciculus. Broca's area then makes a plan for reading and sent to the motor cortex. Motor cortex then sends impulses to the muscles of articulation and the person reads aloud. That is how it works when a person reads aloud. Thank you.